<laughs> so we have <coughs> been made the apprentice of the new necromancer we had gone and retrieved the executioner's cap and the uh, dead man's elbow that was it um and we have to go and see some of the previous necromancers but we have to go up to the library first to learn the necessary spells now I've got a feeling that although like the spells are in the game manual and things like that um, Morion's this book. Many of the rumours of the magical and supernatural which is outside the titanic magic. Now of course any reasonable person knows that any such thing is nonsense. Any thinking person must know that the titans are the only magic in our world. Now, in the interest of fairness, for any of those who may doubt that the true magic is held only by the titans, I have investigated three well known reported cases of magical occurrences that fall outside the titanic influence. The first episode of magic which I investigated was an occurrence which a woman who lives outside Tenebrae them to know something about a ghost who had some magic capabilities. The woman's name is Calandra. Makes her living as a fishwoman. Let me show you that this woman knows nothing of the supernatural. In fact, Calandra knows virtually nothing at all. Quite frankly, I found this woman to be completely mad. She'd ramble on constantly about a daughter to the point where I began to believe that a daughter does not even exist. Of the outlandish stories about a daughter could not apply to just one person. Therefore, in my opinion, the daughter is purely fictional. Anything else that Calandra had talked about things that the fish told her. Therefore, it's perfectly clear this woman is completely mad and anything else she has to say cannot be believed. The second event which many people have reported are mysterious lights of the plateau. Very few people have ever reported having seen these, yet the lights have lived on in pagan law for a very long time. Many people believe these lights are some sort of magic which generated some unknown force of nature. Others believe these lights were some sort of magical energy which is created by the hermit that lives upon the plateau. Such opinions are, of course, the result of people spreading unsubstantiated runes. Without looking at basic facts, I've disproven the fifth that these lights even exist by doing what others simply would do. I took leisure stroll up the plateau, investigated things myself. What to the plateau, which, by the way, is a lovely walk, I recommend to everyone at least once. Once at the plateau, I met with the old hermit who lives there. Now, I must say that this was the most difficult part of my investigation. This old man, Mithran, is his name, is a gruff, unfriendly fellow. This Mithran has nothing to do but lay about all day long. Yeah, getting to answer his questions is like pulling teeth from a troll. He spoke to me in short, sharp sentences which he virtually spit into my face. The worst thing of all is this silly old man thought he knew more about the world than I did. Well, I did manage to get Mithran to assure me there were no magical lights in that dance about the plateau, and I'm sure he would not lie to me as I'm employed by the Lady Mordia and therefore carry her influence. The third instance magic which I've just room beyond doubt is in the shadow of a doubt. The alleged existence of a magical axe called Deceiver. Axe is supposed to be found on a small island off Stone Cove. The island, which cannot be seen by land, is supposed to be reached by stones which rise above the water, only to sink again in a matter of moments. As I had no intention of going through those awful catacombs, I sailed to Stone Cove to investigate. I can show one and all there is no island off Stone Cove, and certainly no magical axe. Not that I see any rising and sinking stones. Costa stones are only a plausible part of this ridiculous story. I do think quite possible for the lurker to create just such a thing, so that she may amuse herself. There you have it, dear reader. Irreputable few. Irrefut irreputable few. Irrefutable proof. That there's no magic in the world other than that which the Titans have chosen to create. I realise this book may take a little bit of fantasy out of some people's dead lives, but if we better serve our lady, we must live in the here and now. You're all bellends. Right. Beware near in this term, blah blah blah. Right. So, reagents are open ground, in fact, 
before I start writing out a spell list, I bet somebody's made a spell list, haven't they? There we go. Oh, that's a terrible way of doing it. It's like an entire website just to list the spells of the game. Right. So we, we've had all read this. Death speak here. Okay. So that noise, which sounded absolutely nothing like that. Was uh, the game telling me that I had done learned something of note? Yay, physics. Okay. So, I'm guessing it's that shiny type place at the back, but wasn't it surrounded by ghosts? run straight across the only fucking exploded mushroom for miles. There you go. Ah! Do you know? It's just got to be one of them days, isn't it? Actually, that might just be me leveling up intelligence. That noise. Thinking about it. Boing. Right. So. I need just a bag for it, don't I? Like a casting bag. Let's get rid of these fucking things. Right. So, open ground. Blood and Blackmore. completely silent sound effects are there just the sound of a wall crumbling to nothing Why? Why would there be 
fireballs in the catacombs. This is this is where we lay the great necromancers. This makes no sense. Why is with all this? I told you it was my kidneys. What? This looks like a massive trap. I'm feeling more uneasy the fact that nothing's happened to be honest of her beloved sister MFH missing from home oh. you gotta let down expecting uh, curse upon you thief yeah, enough of the curse show me what you got Ah, don't shout. I have to say, it's fairly obvious you're about to come alive, isn't it? I only got out of bed about an hour ago after nights so, and I didn't go to bed till about ten past eight. And then I got about four hours sleep yesterday. And the day before I was up for twenty four hours. So probably by about four o'clock I'll be this weird zombie creature.
But I've just had a bowl of Rice Krispies about the size of my head, so um, that should do for a while. I don't believe that for a minute. That was a good idea. Why? I'm even supposed to be here. That's the worst thing. Well, you're going to come alive, aren't you? No? Is it like Hakuna Matata? Okay, I sense this is probably not good. I sense it's also probably not good because you won't fucking climb out. Hey, how do you know which the bloody collapsing floor is? There must be a way to work it out. Defile whoever and whatever I want. Ow. Run. Go on, blow up now. Well, that's crap. It is far too late for me. Oh, come on. I'm in the middle of something here. A lot chest. Well, oh, fuck. Well, shit. After all that, 
Uh, I'm a human in full play armor according to my in-game character, but see, F they decided to go with a faceless character on this one for some reason. Oh, I thought you were just going by the weird choice of character sprite for this. I want to be buried with a fish. Yeah, that ain't gonna work out too well, is it? I don't I really don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. At this very moment. Yes, 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 I'm sure it does. Okay, no. Could be anything in these. Hegland, Hegwood. <laughs> really? Danger, do not enter. Enjoying your stay on Pagan Avatar? That's why you probably shouldn't enter. There's lots of lava. I didn't actually mean to like step straight in. 